A film in three minutes. The player. Okay, here's my pitch. 25 words or less. We open on a Hollywood studio executive. His job is to greenlight just 12 scripts a year out of 50,000. I'm thinking maybe Tim Robbins for the role. And this exec, see? He starts getting these threatening letters from a scorned writer he turned down, and may end up getting embroiled in a murder mystery where he is the main suspect. Pretty clever, huh? Oh. Wait, you're saying that movie already exists? And it stars Robbins? And that was more than 25 words? Oh well, back to the drawing board for me then, but not for master filmmaker Robert Altman and his 1992 critically acclaimed subversive drama, The Player. A movie that definitely satirizes the glitz and glamour of Tinseltown as cultural metaphor, whilst cynically celebrating its schlocky cliched conventions. All seen through the jaded eyes of its protagonist, Griffin Mill. He's the persona non nota embodiment of the Hollywood system, the kind of movie mogul you love to hate, reducing the artistic process behind storytelling into a few simplistic, sellable labels. Oh, okay, I Pops, see. It's a kind of like a gods of... must be crazy, except the Coke bottle's now a television actress. Yeah, it's That's... exactly right. It's out of Africa meets Pretty Woman. Mrs. Mrs. Robinson has Mrs. a stroke. Robinson has a stroke, so she can't talk. It's gonna be funny. Yeah, it'll be funny. With Dark a stroke? and weird and funny and with a stroke. So, so it's kind of a psychic political thriller comedy with a heart. With a heart. Whilst there have been many classic examples of movies about the movie business, the player's wry take on Hollywood's politics, pageantry, and profit obsession acts as both a mirror for modern America's insatiable consumerism, where greed is king, and as a genre-bending, self-aware parody of itself. It presents at times as a comedy, paranoid thriller, and fantastical love story, but it also contains a film within a film that begins as a socially conscious, noble vision but ends up becoming a ludicrous farce after changes made by the studio. In on the joke are dozens of stars playing themselves, whose cameos feature throughout with next to no fanfare, all improvising their lines. Hi, nice. Charles. How are you? Bye-bye. Asshole. The next time you want to badmouth me, have the courage to do it to my face. Even the film's opening is a nod and a wink to cinema, a glorious 8 minute and 5 second single take, of which 15 takes were made, that pays tribute to the opening shot of Touch of Evil. But with all the self-aware mocking on screen, a question begs. Are all the movies we treasure and adore simply the end product from the minds of a faceless, nameless, tasteless Griffin Mill or two? Is the Dream Factory merely the playground of shallow minds with cavernous egos, where creatives and their ideas are mere buzzwords to slap on a product. After watching the player, you may regret finding out, because the further you peer behind what's on screen, the more you realise everything you're seeing was once just 25 words or less. And cut.